All right, good morning. I'm trying to squeeze in a hunt here before the rain hits and the cold front hits. We're in the low 60s right now. I think it's supposed to stay pretty close to this, maybe increase by a few degrees, but uh, we got some rain moving in. It's gonna start later this morning, I don't know, three or four hours from now. So I'm hoping to get a, a few hours of hunting in before it hits. It's gonna rain continuous throughout the day once it hits. And behind that, the temperatures are gonna drop significantly. It's gonna be in the 30s tomorrow for the high. And so, uh, yeah, just trying to squeeze in a hunt before the nasty weather hits. What I'm hunting today is a, just a little tree line, and I've hunted this in the past. Several years ago, I, I hunted this and uh, shot a doe out of the same, this very tree. And what we got is a wood lot on, on each end, basically. And uh, the deer seem to come from the wood lot I'm facing and work this finger and head, I guess, to bed down here. There's some low, low areas that are full of uh, tall grass and brush, and they're using it for bedding. I've seen it enough, I mean, that it, it, it makes it, in my opinion, worthwhile to give it a shot. And I haven't hunted this, this tree line in a few years. We may not see anything, but you never know unless you try. To my left is a, a tall CRP field. To my right was a CRP field, but they did a controlled burn this past spring, and it's very short. So that's basically the lay of the land here, and uh, just going to sit here and hopefully we see something. And then that's it. Ain't much more to talk about. Just wait for it to get light and see what happens. Deer could come from anywhere. So I'm gonna have to spin my head constantly. Typically they come from from that way, come this way, but uh I have seen them come from other areas. We just have to keep our eyes peeled. Yo, here comes the deer.
Yeah. exciting nice thing is he's he ran towards the truck <laughs> looked like a looked like a really good shot he did a little mule kick I think it was a hard shot yes <laughs> that buck did exactly what I was anticipating what I was hoping this morning they uh, worked this tree line heading to bedding over here oh god that's exciting Finally got one down here in Wisconsin. Here's my my knock. Uh, you know what? My my fletching on my arrows are white. And uh, let's look at that. That's what you want to see right there. That's, that's perfect. We're going to mark the hit site. Yeah, that's, that's real good blood. That's some lung blood there for sure. And I'm betting I got into the heart too. So I marked where the arrow was and I'm going to just walk this trail looking for some blood here. And I'm going to stay off the trail, walk to one side, in case I have to bring a tracking dog in here. Which, I hope I can get a hold of one. They're real busy this time of year. I don't know if Callie's doing anything. No blood yet, but usually it starts pumping after about, you know, 20 yards maybe you start getting that blood pumping haven't seen it yet figured be dumping blood out so I got two trails here and I'm, I'm not seeing blood on either trail I'm just surprised I look back at the footage and I can tell the deer came right up through here and I lost sight of them up here somewhere. <laughs> I may actually have to go get Callie to help me find this deer if it's not laying up uh, up here in the grass. I didn't see it come across either you know, left or right of this prairie. Anyway, I'm gonna stay off these trails and I'm gonna just walk to the car and <clears throat> kind of follow this route back to the car and put my gear away and then uh, think about my next move. I may, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get Callie for my own deer. I mean, it, that deer could be laying in this hedgerow here, but the last thing I want to do is uh, start searching all over and doing what I don't like hunters doing when they call me. So, that's crazy. I'm starting to second guess myself. I mean, the shot looked good in my memory. It looked good on camera. I'd like to see it on a big screen because that would be that would be nice. I just can't believe I'm not seeing any blood. There he lays. Yeah, he's dead. right on top of this with this rock pile 
I got I'm interested in seeing where I hit. I he's a little bit bigger than I thought he was. It's a good solid buck. Yeah, there's the shot. Perfect shot. Right there. All right, let me uh, let me get some of this gear off of me, and we'll take a look at him. Oh, it's a nice buck. He's got a big old swollen neck on him. He's broke off on one side here. He's not too much smaller than the one I just saw down there with that doe. Um, but I'm just surprised the the lack of blood. I mean, it was a what I thought was a real good shot. And uh, you know, based on that doe I shot not long ago, she she just poured buckets of blood. So I don't know what the deal is with this one, but he didn't go, you know, basically where I lost sight of him, he he just went past that, and that's this is where he collapsed right on this rock pile. And uh, I guess my strategy this morning worked out great. Uh, I haven't hunted this tree line in in uh, several years. Killed a doe uh, on the, actually the same tree I was just in. Uh, killed a doe there four years ago and I've seen deer working this tree line when I've hunted in other locations I could still see this tree line from a distance and this morning I came in here thinking about where to go the wind is favorable for several locations and uh, but I just I was losing confidence in some of the other spots I'm not seeing uh, I've hunted a couple of times and I haven't seen deer where I've saw deer like earlier in the season and I didn't want to go somewhere where I didn't have any confidence and I figured I hadn't hunted this tree line this year or in several years that uh, it might you know, might work out well especially with it being the rut uh, bucks are cruising bucks are actually locking down on does right now and uh, this tree line is a, a, a favorite uh, corridor for the deer to travel especially the bucks heading from uh, the woods to bedding looking for does you know doing that sort of thing it's just a good cruising uh, area and of course you get some go across the CRP field here like we just saw a little bit ago that that buck those two bucks and that doe obviously she's in heat but uh, I'm interested in seeing where the exit hole is I haven't taken a look at it is uh, at yet I haven't taken a look at it yet entry looks perfect um, so we'll take a look and then uh, I'll put right here on the screen what organs I hit when I gut it I'll take some pictures of that but I won't show it in the video I'll take video of it I won't included in this video uh, just so you know YouTube uh, kind of they don't like that they don't like blood and stuff so just trust me I'll take some pictures and video uh, that if anyone wants to see it later but I'm gonna uh, get it open and see for myself here in a moment fun fun morning in Wisconsin